my beautiful Pisces gang, 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 gang. What to do, you guys? It's your girl, Empress 777 today with a general message for my beautiful Pisces. So, family, happy birthday. It's y'all season, bitch. Turn the fuck up. Turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. Let me know what you're doing for your birthdays down below in the comments. Happy belated birthday to those of you who have already celebrated and happy birthday to those of you who are celebrating today, okay? My dad, one of my spirit guys, he was a Pisces, okay? So, I get it, right? I got a couple of nieces that Pisces I got Pisces all around me for real honestly I fuck with y'all the long way okay so holy angels and spirit guys please come through give us additionally what we need to know in regards to the energies popping up this is for this is called a since you've been gone message okay so since we ended since things have been over since I stopped fucking with you because this is giving I, I quit you you ain't quit me Right, like very much delusional, very much in denial. This one, um, let's kind of tap in to see what's been going on with this person since things have ended, get a little bit more detail, and we can also see if there is potential for the future of the connection. Okay, so without further ado, guys, please click that like button as well as the subscribe button. We would love to have you come become a part of the gang, become a part of the fam, become a part of the team, baby. We, 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 we trying to grow. All right, shoot me a little comment down below, a little hey girl, hey, and of course, let me know your birthdays. That is the roll call down below. Go ahead and rep your set. Let's know what day your birthday falls on and tell me what your plans are if you want to share. Okay, so very interesting, this one, okay? I think this person is confusion. You know, I think they're battling, right, with their confidence in this. They don't really know where, to, where they stand energetically, within themselves so this person is battling internally the very first card out was done and then done again okay it's like i'm done and then it's like no i'm done i'm doneer than you i'm doneer than doneer than done right and then they want to underline it all capital letters shouty capitals right that's supposed to emphasize that they mean it and it's a lie okay so <clears throat> depending on how things ended up in separation I feel like this person was very guarded very much so guarded in reference to how things were going they didn't want to come off as thirsty they didn't want to come off as um someone who cares really okay um I feel like they put on a good front guards on duty 24 7 so they're like I'm gonna hold out longer than you I'm not gonna say something if you're not I, I, if you're done then I'm done right when in all actuality I feel like they wanted to actually run after you I feel like they really wanted to say something okay um this sort of denial okay um delusion that they may be resonating in i feel like that happened initially and then it quickly started to change it wasn't very long that doesn't mean that they made any moves towards you i just feel like it kind of set in this sort of feels like um you know flight or fight <laughs> right fight or flight yeah it's like that initial sort of enthusiasm that rush of energy you're just saying anything you're just doing anything that feels right at the moment you're not really thinking and then you have time to actually get it to set in so that could be a couple of days that could be a couple of weeks that could be a couple of months right before it actually starts to set in that you have not disturbed them you have not come back around that it might actually be done this is not somebody who wanted to be done with you but if you're if you were going to be done then they're then they're done too is the sort of thing they didn't fight for it they didn't run after you they didn't chase you Please keep in mind that these messages are general and this feels very specific. So I, I'm really interested to see down in the comments how many of you resonate with this. But don't force anything to fit, guys. OK, use your intuition to, to take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. Right. You should be able to feel it energetically. Don't force shit to fit over here. So we have do not disturb in the reverse as well as effort. I do feel like this person is back and forth in their mind about whether they should say something or not. And depending on how long it's been says the two of you have kind of released each other they haven't released you but they do feel like you've released them so they feel the energetic pull is gone um, this person feels like they had an effect on your emotions at one point in time where they didn't have to put much effort in to get you to come back and extend an olive branch or to um have you show up expecting an apology especially if they were wrong but you would you would show up nonetheless you haven't shown up 
I also feel as though this person, they, they feel like they want to say something. They want to make the effort to come towards you or they will soon be feeling like that. Like they want to say something or just open that door, open the line of communication, but they don't know if you have your do not disturb sign on. So this is somebody who's not willing to like go out on a limb. If you don't feel that way, then they don't want to feel that way either, even though they actually feel that way. It's so weird. So it's like they want to save face, right? This is the type of person who will know for a fact that they love you or they want to be with you. But if you don't feel that way, then they're going to pretend like they don't love you. Like they don't want to be with you. So they've kind of been waiting for you to show some form of effort. They may have been stalking your social media or trying to see what you've been posting. Okay. They may wonder if it will save them a little bit of face, right? This is somebody who's trying to save face. They don't want to look thirsty. They don't want to look like the person who's groveling or crawling back. So they might have in their mind, hey, I could possibly come around and say something, <laughs> right? Happy belated birthday. I can say happy birthday to Pisces. I can kind of try to get my foot in the door that way. And it'll still look like I was just saying happy birthday. It won't necessarily look like I'm trying to make an effort. <sighs> what is wrong with them, you guys? Okay, so we have the hangman. We have the six of cups. <laughs> And we have the Eight of Cups. So this is signified by their initial energy, guys. As soon as it ended, like the very first moments after it ended or the weeks following, the days following, I feel like they you, you stunned them, okay? They're, they have been stunned into silence. This person has been paused. They have not been seeing other people, even though they might be trying to put up like little subliminal memes online. Like, I'm getting out there, right? Like, I got my little start and lineup. You know, the bitches is all on me, you know? And all of the dudes, they trying to get me, right? Like, they're trying to put up things or statuses updating their their social media potentially to try and make it seem like they outside but they're not really outside <laughs> they're very much inside they feel like they are at an impasse like they don't really know what to do they kind of don't really know how to navigate this on one end of the um on one end of the spectrum, they want to come back towards you and try to make things right, right? Extend an olive branch, possibly give you a gift. Um, just have the conversation. That doesn't mean this is coming with an apology. If For those of you who feel like you're owed that, I don't feel that. This is about reconciliation. It's also about someone feeling connected to you, even though they're like, man, fuck it. You, you left me, right? You left me hanging, literally, with the hangman. I feel like they go back and forth. Okay. It's very much so, um, indecisive energy. So on one hand, they were stunned into pausing, pause, break, doing nothing. They don't even feel like themselves anymore. If they were known to be a player or a playette, their swag is gone. The mojo is gone. They're not really pulling people the way that they, that they really could. If their energy was in check, they haven't been able to focus. Okay. So they want to come back and say, I'm sorry, or like, be like, this is, you know, it's not even that deep, babe. Like, you know, why, why are we even doing this? Like, let's just not, you know, relationships are work. You know, you got to give me time to change. <laughs> right. But then it immediately switches to them, like envisioning you walking away or cutting them off. Whatever you said, if you feel like they're the ones that walked away, then they feel like they weren't. They feel like they left the door open. They feel like they left an open avenue for you to say whatever you want, to say whatever you needed, to, to, to make this right, to make the effort. They feel like they left it open and you closed it. Even if that's not true, right? This is just their idea. But what I feel more prevalently is this Six of Cups is this person, like they were immediately stunned. And then right after they're like, let me say something before it's too late. Time might be running out. And then immediately after that, their ego spoke up and was like, she walked away from you. He released you, bitch. He released you. She released you. Like, no. That pride. They could not put it to the side. So it's really fucking with them the way that you disconnected. The way that, or the way that you did not connect. The way that you did not make an effort if they're the ones who, who decided we're done. And you didn't fight back on it. They're like, wait, what? You're supposed to be like, no, baby, please, baby, baby, baby please. Or for those of you who they are, or you the one who actually walked away, they can't, they're in their mind like, I'm not going to come back. I'm not going to come back begging you. Like, I'm not, you're the one who walked away from me. You're the one who, who's supposed to come see about me. Come see if I'm still hanging out here waiting for you. I am. 
So where the fuck are you? So are you really, you're really actually done? So in their mind, they can't reconcile how it would be okay for them to try and come back towards you with the six of cups. Cause either way they look thirsty, either way they look like they lost. Especially if you haven't said anything to them. Very guarded energy. This is not somebody who likes to take risks, even if it's for the betterment of their own heart chakra, right? I do feel like this, it hurt this person to be in this positioning. This is why they're not able to, to move on, like to a newer, a newer connection. Um, people might actually be interested in them, but it's just, it doesn't feel right. Okay, they're looking for that comfort, that soft place to land. You could have been somebody who they were really like just used to. They could be a fixed sign, so they didn't want to change, right? Like they didn't want it to change. Even though things needed to change, you could have been waiting for it to change, but they never made the effort to change. So you changed the shit that you could change, which was yourself. Your location, bitch. Find me. I'm off the map, Hope. So we have the Page of Cups. <laughs> This is the role they feel like you've played in this, guys, okay? So somebody is cursing you the fuck out. Effort. This is all about effort. Who gave what? Somebody keeping tabs. Somebody keeping a tally. Um, they feel like you were the one keeping a tally. That doesn't have to be true. This is somebody. This is how they feel you affected things. Page of Cups. This is what they were willing to give. This is what I have. You know what I'm saying? This is what I have to offer. If you say that you love me, then you would be patient with me and wait for the rest of it to show up. you like, bitch, how long am I supposed to wait? they like collaboration okay togetherness Does, isn't it enough for us to just be in love you're like hell no bitch i need some i need some proof i need some pentacles i need something that's worth it i need something that's that's of substance i need something i need some kind of investment they're like okay well you need to be patient and they feel like you were unwilling to do that so this is the type of person who now like their energy for me the, all of three of these cards together state to me that they feel like you were putting pressure on them. They were only willing to come towards you with the page of cups. So they give selfish energy. They wanted to keep the rest of the cups for themselves. So it's not that they didn't have the cups to give. It's just when it comes to romantic connections, this is how much they're willing to give. And they expect people to be down with that, period. They will say what sounds good, okay? They will say what sounds politically correct, which is you, you have to have patience. Nobody is just, you know, giving you know from cut to cut to cut to cut to cut overnight like that takes time right to build it takes time so it doesn't matter how long you were fucking with this person they would have always pulled this number patience patience is a virtue aren't you the one that's always preaching a collaborative effort and working together working with one another isn't that isn't that your words and that what you always preach and preach well then what about when it's time to be patient for me Hmm. So we have the lovers. <laughs> Are you dating someone else? They either have an idea that somebody else is in the mix, that competition is on the field, or they actually know it. So didn't I say that initially, that they could be looking at your social media? I don't get that you're posted up with somebody, but if you are posted up, they're like, somebody else got to be there. She wouldn't go out to eat by herself. He wouldn't go. He wouldn't go out. He wouldn't go to that place by himself. You're on an island. OK, well, what are you doing for your birthday on, on a beach? bitch? Oh, really? Well, who is there with you? You're on a vacation. You may just put the hashtag vacation, but there's no other person. It's like a mystery man or a mystery woman. <laughs> You're keeping everything very close to your vest. They are pissed about that shit, because for some reason, even though. They said that they're done. They still feel some some uh, remnants of possession over this connection. OK, over you, over what the two of you had, over what they think is still supposed to transpire with the nine of wands. Right. The wounded warrior. They feel like it doesn't matter how wounded you get in love. It doesn't matter how bad it gets. It doesn't matter if the swords are through your back, bitch. You're supposed to thug it out. It's work. Right. Trekking through the tundra to go and find your heart. And you're supposed to let me fix it. But not just let me fix it by coming back towards you. You're supposed to come back towards me. Then I fix it. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
The lovers also signifies a choice between two people. So you could be dating two new people or just one, right? If they think it's one, then they think it's two. They think it's multiple, right? Like they think it's three, right? They are definitely playing the victim. So whether or not they know this to be true or not, they're trying to reconcile in their mind, okay? They gotta, they gotta tell themselves a story. Why is this happening? Why did this happen? Why are you choosing to move on? Why are you choosing to refuse my Page of Cups offer, which is an empty offer. There is literally a fish in the cup. Were you expecting Pisces to just accept a fish? I'm, I'm confusion. A fish fry, bitch? Are we having a fish fry? What the hell? For how long? They're like, yes. For how long? Yes. So I don't know what would have led them to this expectation, but it is so, right? So again, they are telling themselves this story, okay, in order to make it sound, make sense in their own mind. Because in the past, anybody would receive that offer from them, right? They speak very highly of themselves is what I'm hearing, guys, okay? They prop themselves up on a pedestal. It could be the way that they look. It could be um, their, their charisma. It could be some things that they have. People will fight over breadcrumbs from this person. Yet you are not. So instead of telling themselves the truth, they're going to tell themselves a story. There is somebody else, right? And you have ruined us because it doesn't matter what we've been through. You're supposed to be down for this, bitch. And one of the decks, the nine of wands ha is on crutches. So how bruised and wounded are you supposed to get in love before you decide to move forward? Right. So you definitely chose yourself. You know your worth and you're making the effort to go towards things that want you. The things that you want, want you. That is what you're putting out into the universe. That might be one of your affirmations. So we have the world card. We have the two of swords. And we have the king of swords, right? So moving forward, this person is most certainly expecting to be given answers, right? Like they feel like they deserve answers from you. They feel like they deserve to have a conversation with you. With the world card here, this person does feel on one end of the spectrum that things are changing, that things are shifting, that things are changed forever because the world is an end. It is the end of a cycle. It is the end of whatever the fuck was going on. That shit is done, right? How and ever they have to blind themselves to the actuality of what's going on because that doesn't feel good. Right. The real the reality doesn't feel good. So we're going to live in reality TV instead. OK. And so I do see them thinking that a conversation is necessary with the King of Swords here. They're trying to act like they're they're going to be practical because we have all of these swords here. But I feel like this person is very much so emotional. I do. Um, that there's that energy again, right? Putting on a front, trying to save face. So they don't want to make it appear as if they are struggling emotionally as much as they are. Three of Swords is very painful, but Swords are about logic. You know what I mean? They're about like holding shit in. They can come off a little bit cold, detached. Um, so this is an illusion. They're not as cool, calm and collected as they may appear. If they get the opportunity to speak to you again, it will be fake. OK, they're going to try to make it appear as if they're cool. Everything is good. They're trying. They're just trying to see why you're acting this way. They're just trying to see what's good with you, like what you want for your birthday, like what you want to do, like what what you've been up to. Hey, big heading you. You know what I'm saying? They're going to come in very much so platonic. They may even feign some forms of transformation because I'm now recognizing in the imagery these butterflies above the head of the King of Swords. King of Swords is very diplomatic. It is extremely uh, logical and practical, and it is very much so head over heart. But we see right here in this other Swords card, this figure has a blindfold on, right? So they're blinding themselves to the truth of the matter, which is they are very emotional about this, but they're refusing to admit it. OK, and I feel like them hiding it is only going to murky the energy. Right. I feel like you're able you're a good judge of character. You were already able to read beyond the things that this person was doing already. So I don't see that changing. I feel like this might blow up in their face, actually, if they do decide to, to make a move. Right. Now, I don't see any cards yet that signify moving. 
Okay, I'm just saying if they decide to make a move right now, this person is just sitting very much so in entitlement and feeling like they deserve answers from you, <laughs> feeling like they deserve love from you. Okay. So they're playing the victim. It doesn't matter how you feel. This is how they are looking at this. This is how they are unpacking this. This is how they are approaching this. This is all of the energy that they have been struggling with since things have ended. And I do feel like they have not been able to move on mentally with all the swords that are showing up. Um, they feel like you owe them. I'm seeing an image of them keeping looking at their phone. Going back to look at text messages, going back to look at pictures, going back to look at your social media, going through your text messages, going through your pictures, putting the phone down and then picking it right back up to see if you text them, to see if you called them, even if it's been weeks or months, they're delusional. They're still thinking that that call is going to come through. It has to. You owe me like it has to. What a mess. So let's hop over to the extended. OK, we're going to see how this unravels. We'll see how this unfolds. OK, I want to know how they are feeling about things now. This is all like past and or current energy. Let's see how they will start feeling about things moving forward. Does it change? Right. Like, does their perspective change or are they still playing the victim? Let's see Have they've been involved with other people. I want to know. Right. Have they been dating people? Seriously, have they been intimately involved with other people with the lovers here? That could be a thing. All right. I want to know, are they going to make a move towards you? And if so, when? So you can be prepared, regardless if you decide to hear this person out or not. You stay ready and got to get ready. I don't know how they I want to know how they changed. Right. Or would their behavior be different if you did try things again? That will be the signifier of a, the end of a cycle. Right. I do feel like you've ended a cycle. That doesn't mean um, the other person has has grown and ended the patterns of the past, right? So we will look to see if that's even a thing. I also want to know what the outcome is. If you just, if you guys did decide to try again, okay, what do you get out of this, right? Is, does it end well? Could this ever work if at all? And we'll also look at the outcome of those of you going in the opposite direction. We'll follow it by some advice from the divine and we'll wrap that shit up potentially with an Axe of Universe reading, but I'll see what they say on the other side. OK, so without further ado, click the like button, click the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'm going to put the link for the extended reading down below in the description box. I'm going to see you all over there. Let's go turn the fuck up.